Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr. Southern. This is part four of the episode of the lesson on factor theorem, and in this video I'll be explaining how to find two unknown coefficients of cubic using the factor theorem. Uh, so, question we have here is f of x equals p x cubed plus q x squared minus 3x minus 7. p and q are both unknown numbers that we have to find. We're told that x minus 1 and x plus 1 are factors of f of x and asked to find p and q. Okay, so first thing I'm going to use is if x minus 1 is a factor, then that means that f of 1 must equal 0. And I'm going to substitute 1 into this function here and equate it to 0. So p lots of 1 cubed plus q lots of 1 squared minus 3 lots of 1 minus 7 equals 0. Uh, so p plus q minus 3 minus 7 equals 0. And I'm going to write that as p plus q equals 10. Because you might be able to see where this is going, given that I'm trying to find two unknowns. Uh, the next thing I'm told is that x plus 1 uh, is a factor. Uh, and therefore that tells me that f of negative 1 will equal 0 as well. So I'm going to substitute negative 1 into the original function here. Uh, so p lots of negative 1 cubed plus q lots of negative 1 squared minus 3 lots of negative 1 minus 7 equals 0. Now just be really careful with signs here. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1, so we have negative p. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, so we have plus q. Negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3. Subtract 7 equals 0. Uh, so I'm going to write that one as negative p plus q equals 4. Uh, and again, I'll box that because you can probably see where this is going. Uh, I have equation 1 here and I have equation 2. And what I'm now going to do is solve those equations simultaneously to find uh, p and q. So as you can see by looking at them, if I add the two equations together, I've got p plus negative p, so it's going to eliminate p. So q plus q, that's going to give me 2q equals 10 plus 4, which is 14, uh, which means that q is 3. And then I can look at either one of these simultaneous equations. So if q is 3 and p plus 3 is 10, then p must be 7. Check that works for the other one. Uh, negative 3... Um, Sir, do you mean q is 7? I mean q is 7. That means p is 3, doesn't it? And that works? Nice one. So, p plus q is 10, 3 plus 7 is 10, negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Job done. Maths, thank you very much for the not quite empty classroom that I'm teaching with this evening.